played this was comparable to how I played Fallout 4. Fallout 4, I was playing it and I was like, Fallout 4 is pretty good. You know what my goal is gonna be? I need to fuck Piper. And I do don't that. understand because Piper <laughs> literally annoyed the shit out of me. That was the most important thing to me for 20 no. hours of Fallout no, 4. You're a monster. I literally got to the point where I was like, I'm only playing this game to eventually sleep with Piper. You like, didn't want to sleep with all Hancock? I care about. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? Hancock's Hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look this up. Fallout 4. Can you I don't know what I want. Fuck. I don't what do I want my search history. What do you, what do you um, want the government to see right now? I'm going to search companion relationships instead of fuckable companions. This one seems better. Oh, really? That's what I uh, need this, this is, video. <laughs> <laughs> fuckable companions. No, no. Okay. Codsworth can... Okay, we're going to talk about... All right. If we're doing this, we're going to talk about them like in terms of as a character and also what they give you gameplay-wise. Codsworth <laughs> is not... Not fuckable. What? So that's that's a thing right there. You cannot fuck Codsworth. Which is interesting you can't fuck him because you can fuck a robot in Far Harbor. Okay, so there's this great side mission where it's like you have to figure out a murder mystery in a hotel, but all of the occupants are robots with human brains in them. And it's it's a great side mission, it really is. <laughs> um, but you can fuck one of them. And it's literally just a robot. Like it's a robot with a brain in it, but it is a robot that you are fucking. So I don't know why it doesn't let you fuck Codsworth. So you can't fuck him. Gameplay-wise, his perk is plus 10 damage resistance against energy weapons. That's like basically useless. That's such a small I mean, amount of energy. I don't even want to like, Codsworth is fine, but he's like two out of 10 tops in my book. It's like, like he's a good character to get started, but that's literally it. Yeah, that's how you get started. Like, and then you want to finish strong. Uh, sorry. It's <laughs> okay, anyway. So Codsworth is like borderline useless in like every possible way. So now now that we're through Codsworth, the next companion that I believe you find is Paladin Dance. Uh, I found dog meat first, which obviously oh, we're, not gonna, dog meat. we're not going to go into that because I... Uh, I'm not about that at all, so we're not so gonna like, even dog dwell meat on that. doesn't even count. Dog meat doesn't even give you a perk. He just he's just there. He gives you a perk uh, of having a dog in the game. Well, the yeah, the dog meat perk is there are other perks that do things with dog meat, but like he himself doesn't actually help um, you. Helps me. Get so like. He... <laughs> what? I didn't say. What? <laughs> Once you're through, you know, whatever you like to do with with dog meat, I believe Just the next him. companion should be Paladin Dance because you would probably go through the police station before you get okay. to Diamond City. Okay, so here's the question. Because you you going into Cambridge. Would you fuck George Clooney? This is basically I would fuck George Paladin Clooney. Dance. Yes. Okay. I would. Oh, I'm shit. I'm debating that one because that's I feel like George Clooney might be like. <sighs> weird about it afterwards or try and make it weird you know what i mean i like, mean how much do you know about george clooney fuck. where you're gonna you know, make that call i knew you're gonna say that and i actually know <laughs> george clooney very well so oh, do you? you can you can <laughs> shut it there thank god <laughs> I, I was concerned you might have been yeah. making assumptions but so long as you have a basis in fact here i'm good with it george and i go way back so I'm gonna say right, no. Right. I'm gonna say no to Paladin. I'm gonna say no to the hit detection in this fucking Crash Bandicoot <laughs> level. So I would go with Paladin Dance. I also like Paladin Dance. So Paladin Dance, his thing that he gives you is plus 20% damage against synths, feral ghouls, and super mutants. That's actually pretty good. That's, like you that's fight a lot good. of those things. That's yeah. actually really helpful. Um, and like as a character, he has some interesting things. Like. He's pretty one note in terms of just like, yeah, man, the Brotherhood's the best. Paladin Dance is cool because like he's a uh, like he's one note, but like he gives you a good entryway into the Brotherhood of Steel. I mean, literally, but also like as a character, because he's not as much of a dick as, as much as a dick as everybody else in the Brotherhood. Of is. all the Brotherhoods, yeah, I, I can um, agree with that. But still, yeah, like, like he's he's like nice he's enough. Nice still. He is, but like he's a nice one, and then like. Did you do? I didn't do this, but I, I know what it is. Did you do his quest? I'm assuming not. Dance? I don't remember. Honestly. Yeah. I don't remember so if I did. So Dance's quest is that he's a synth. Oh yeah, I did. I did do that one. Holy shit! And like that that's was a good really one. cool. You know it's what? a really cool twist. That is it's a, a good really one. cool quest. It adds a lot to his character because he has this whole thing about like you know what does it mean to be in the brotherhood because oh, like dude. he still believes in it but like you know he's the enemy and it's like it's a really cool I cool change, change for his character yeah i might change my because that was a great mission i got emotional and i was like you know what dance was an okay character but this mission really oh. made him stand out and yeah like it's a really good one yeah. um 
So like that that mission is kind of what sells Dance a little for me because I, I, he wouldn't be all that great if he didn't have that. And it was just like I'm Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> ah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how they all talk is they ah, Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Well, that's how Piper talks. What the? All right. Anyway, yeah, that she... does bring us to Piper. <laughs> yeah, she's like a story. 20s gangster. Yeah. yeah, see, yeah. <laughs> um, There's so, a okay, so, All right, well, we that go. brings us to, to Piper. It. So, yeah, it, Piper is a reporter in Diamond City, which is Fenway Park, um, who is, like, the really stereotypical, like, ah, I'm gonna piss off the town with my investigations, because uh, the, the people need to know the truth, um, like, like that kind people. of, you know, yeah. oh, they all shit. do anything for the story kind of, kind of reporter. <laughs> so, like, that's... That's Piper. That's a, I can um, admire that. I, I can. So, kinda. like, Piper is romantically an option, as is dance, like we just mentioned. But Piper's, I actually like Piper's a lot. You get double XP for finding new locations and for successfully persuading people in speech checks. Right. So, like, both cool. of those are really, really helpful, especially early when you find Piper initially, because you still yeah. haven't found most locations. Useful if you like to use your mouth. <laughs> Am I right? I suppose so, which I did. I did very much like to use use my mouth. I had a uh, maxed out like speech stat. Like I liked her perk a lot because her perk was super helpful, and I liked that I, like general archetype as a character. She never, she didn't evolve crazy. Like she didn't evolve a lot from yeah, it, she but she like she had up. some, she had some interesting stuff with like her sister, which again wasn't a quest. It was just dialogue. Um, where like about like her sister wanting to like follow in her footsteps and her recognizing that like her footsteps are like not the best fucking idea because like she's constantly getting into trouble and like pissing everyone off. And you like those girls Are you that, that get fucking into trouble. kidding me, Crash Bandicoot? Oh. <laughs> are you fucking for real? That that is how I all feel. Right. When I was a kid, that was I'm... like all I would say every time I played that game. It was like fuck. Did you get to the hog level yet? The hog level on the bridge? Yeah, I, dude, I'm oh. on, I'm in Cortex's power plant dude, and shit. Like, okay, I'm really genuinely angry about that last one because that was unfair. I did not hit the fucking whatever. Yeah, I like Piper doesn't go much in terms of character development, but I think she's. I like the, the type of character she is. I think she is one of the better written companions. The lack of a quest is a bummer. Uh, like, it would have been cool to have something more specific to her other than just, like, some dialogue about her sister. Probably just but, annoying. I, just but saying. I don't know. I, I didn't <laughs> think she was annoying. She also had, like, more personality once you were actually, like, in a relationship with her than, like, a lot of the other companions did. Like, right. I know, like, this is, like, not a great example, but, like, when you, like, once you're in a relationship, like, she, you, she's, you kind of take on the nickname, she calls you Blue, Blue. Like, you, you know, the vault suit and stuff. Yeah. And, like, that, that was, like, a neat little touch that, like, most of the other companions, at least the ones that I had, you know, gotten all the way up, didn't really change once I was at that point. They just, I got, you know, the, the experience thing when I went to bed next to them, but I, there was no notable, like, character interactions that that I could find, and I kind of liked liked hers. Also, I like her aesthetically. Man. Like, I like the red overcoat. Like, it's that same like you know twenties well, reporter it, style. Yeah, it but, fits her style perfect. And I, I like the style. So like, I like style. that. That was kind of I that see, was my main that. thing. I don't know. I feel like she'd be too. She'd be very uptight about things. You know. I don't know. She's kind of like a loose cannon of sorts. Oh, we missed one. Oh, they, they probably suck anyway. That's why. Good old it. good old Preston Garvey. Yep. Yeah, no. Can we skip him, please? Can we skip <laughs> no. that lame ass? No, come on. He's such a lame ass character. Come on. I just want to go over his <laughs> his his ability, which what, is oh, actually what, what is not that? bad. What, what are his abilities? What what is, what does he so do? So he is he is bangable. Um, <laughs> sure, obviously. And his ability is that it's plus 20% damage and plus 20 damage resistance whenever you're fighting three plus enemies. Yo, <laughs> that's so, like, pretty good. That's... But okay, they... but it, it has to be that it's... good because he blows. Yeah, like, it's not worth you know having him as your companion because he's annoying as fuck. No, but... I missed him. Fucking a, I hate this. So, That's hilarious. Oh, okay, watching that so soar dumb. past you is so, so funny. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that was great. I waste okay, sorry. No, Preston's the worst. He has nothing interesting to say ever. He just gives you the same stupid radiant quest over and over again. So you finally are like, so, hey, I want something more than this, Preston. Give me some substance in this relationship. I want to be pressed in, if you know what I'm saying. I, I really know what, I know what you're saying. I just... I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want Preston Garvey okay. anywhere near me. It's not even right, so like we can be done with Preston. Because <laughs> uh, nobody actually wants that. Um, Maybe someone. Does anyone in chat want that? I want to know. Like, no one's judging. No one's judging. 
Like I don't know. I'm judging. I, know. <laughs> I mean, I'm judging too. Don't don't tell us, please. So nobody's judging except for the only two people you'd be talking to. Three. Uh. <laughs> Good sir. Oh shit. I'm sorry. I'm Um, all right, so after after Piper, I believe. Oh, well, Nick Valentine's the next one. Yes. Uh, so yes. you can't fuck Nick Valentine. But I would. Um. Yeah, I mean, like theoretically, I'd be down for it. I, um, but I'd the game's not giving the option. His uh his bonus is fifty percent faster terminal hacking and one additional guess. So right. Right. that's actually horrible. That's it's, so bad. It's. In the, I don't know if it's horrible. It's not. Okay, there's the literally. Best, here, well, but, here's know? the thing. I am, I would call it horrible because there's literally another perk that makes that irrelevant. What is that? Uh, the perk that gives you unlimited hacking attempts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Wait, that's, that's actually true. like an up. You can get that when you're leveling up. So like, if you get that, you literally gain nothing from being with Nick Valentine. <laughs> Um, although, <laughs> here's the pros to Nick. Nick is, I think, the only companion that essentially has two companion quests. Oh, what the fuck? So, okay. so I, I did Nick's companion quest during, when I got to Far Harbor, I switched off to Nick from Piper. Right. Um, because I didn't like the dude from Far Harbor. He was boring. Um, and I heard that Nick had some interesting, like, character unique things in Far Harbor. So, Far Harbor gives you a second quest in that, like, Nick's first quest is this cool one about how, like, he has the memories of, like, an old cop from, like, the 20s. Yo, yeah. And, like, some criminal had murdered his family, and, yeah. like, you're on the hunt to find him. And, like, that's kind of cool. That's <laughs> um, So, like, you have to go find, like, this guy that killed Nick's original, like, basically original personalities right. family. Uh, and, like, that was a cool quest that, you know, had, like... It, you know, clearly was, like, very important to him, and it was neat to play through. And then, in Far Harbor, I won't spoil anything because you haven't played it, um, but in Far Harbor, you get the, um, the whole main quest revolves around, like, this one group of synths, and this, like, like, almost godlike synth character named Dima, who Dima? has, like, Dima, Nerf I believe. Okay. I think it's D-I-M-A. Okay. I could be wrong on that. Um, I'm gonna Google, actually. It is Dima. Um, but, like, Dima, it's really cool because as the, as it goes on, you start to find out, like, there is, like, some past connection between Nick and Dima. And it, it makes the whole Far Harbor narrative better for it. Right. Um. Okay. So, like, that's why Nick's cool. You can't, you can't you know, bang Nick, Nick it's not, not an even option. Do you think Nick um, has, like, do you think he's, like, he's, like, a modular kind of being where you can, like, swap out some piece for another piece, you know what I mean? Like... You know, if you could bang him, could you swap out something for for something else, you know? Theoretically, I suppose you could. <laughs> I would think so. I and mean, if that's the case, then sure. Why not? <laughs> well, the game on... Todd Howard didn't even give us the choice <laughs> on this one. Yeah. So I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, clearly he doesn't want us to bang him. Conflict of interest, but... <laughs> some would say. <laughs> <laughs> right, who's after Nick? So after Nick is, say it. Let's Do see. It. I actually don't Do know who's next. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna start randomly pulling from a list because I don't actually think there is well, a definitive order. Curate. So I, well, I'm just gonna start at the top and go in alphabetical sure. list. Yeah. So don't miss something. That, so Kate no. is one. Um, <laughs> who the hell is who? Kate. Kate's <laughs> the one you find in the combat zone. Oh, it, yeah, the one like you just fight them. She's and, like, like, yeah. She's yeah, like yeah. super, like I want to say Scottish. Yeah. Um, and like she tag, she's like a drug addict, and she tags along with you for a yeah. while. Um, her, you can romance her. I also did that. Um, and he, she, um, her perk is AP regenerates faster when below twenty five percent health. So Not situationally bad. helpful. Yeah, she's. I think she'd be situationally <clears throat> helpful. She is an interesting one. I'm glad we're talking about like a 20 style game right now because I'm fighting a boss in Crash called Pinstripe Pato oh, Potoru. Oh, Italian. Like he comes up as like this he's Italian. Like, and it, like, he's like an Italian mob boss, yeah. like with a with a submachine gun, <laughs> yeah. and I kind of love it. I don't know what oh, I'm supposed to do. 
Oh, okay, behind you hide chairs, behind dude. chairs. Yeah. Um, I, I, I love this boss. This is great. Oh, yeah. Um, Very on the nose. <laughs> but Kate has a really cool companion quest um, where you have to go into this vault. I don't remember which one it was. Um, but there's, like, a new vault that you wouldn't have gotten into otherwise because they have this machine that, like, will cure her drug addiction. Oh, okay. Um, so you go and, like, put her through the machine and cure her drug addiction. So like, she it's wants cool, redemption. Like, it's, she wants Yeah, like, cured. she doesn't want to be a drug addict. And, like, it's interesting because I think she's the only character in the game that actually has a... The stuff she likes and dislikes changes. Oh, because she only likes... Like, if you do drugs and shit around her initially, she's, like, super into it. After you do the quest, if you do drugs and shit around her, she gets angry and it like lowers that, the meter. That is really cool, actually. That's, so she's like a yeah. dynamic <clears throat> companion in that way. Yeah, she her she actually changes a little bit, uh, and I like that. Uh, I used her during um, Nuka World. Ooh, nice. Um, nice. but uh, so that's Kate. I think Kate was a cool character, though. I, I liked her as a character. It was interesting. She had a cool backstory. It was kind of sad and tragic. So you, um, so you basically cured her addiction, but then when you guys were like in the I gave her together, an addiction. Yeah, you, <laughs> she became addicted to another substance, if you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah, the tension the tension was there in the vault. You guys are just Absolutely. Like, <laughs> vault <laughs> is just a euphemism, by the way. Um, um for for okay. <laughs> I was lost for a <laughs> second. <laughs> I was like, huh? <laughs> Um, anyhow, yeah, the, uh, that? up next is, let's go to Curie, I Yay. guess. You seem to have a connection to Curie, why don't you go for this one? I mean, if you could reference the, uh, the missions, that'd be cool, but, I mean, the only thing I know about Curie was uh, she's, like, a robot, like a medical robot, one that, like, cures and, like, heals people and stuff, that's cool. Very, uh, nice, proactive way of looking at things, and she doesn't like violence as much. Um, but the main thing is like, I remember the mission being something about you have to go back to this chamber or like, no, 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 she, she becomes like sentient, I think is what it is. And she starts thinking like, oh, there's more to life than like, you know, this. And like, I want to be like human basically. And like the, the mission from what I remember is like you taking Curie as a robot and then she becomes a human. Like she has a human body after that mission. And then Curie is literally just like another person that walks with you and like interacts with you. Yeah. So that, that's pretty much it. You find her in like the bottom of Alt 81 when you're trying to deal with like that that infection going around. Um, and then uh, yeah, you you actually go through the missions that turn her into a person. And once she is turned into a person, she then becomes bangable. Oh, um, yeah. You cannot you cannot fuck her, but prior to her being a a person. <laughs> But when she is a when she's a person, totally a thing. Her Their perk, aim, by the aim. way, is plus one hundred hit points once per day if health falls below ten percent. Nice. So I don't actually know how good that is. I mean, she just likes to take care of people, and that's what the sounds like. It's just taking care of me again, or you again, or whomever again. You know. Smash or pass. <laughs> that's actually. I hate a this game. <laughs> I would smash. I I would smash on it. <laughs> Especially after the transformation. Hoo -hoo. Oh, yeah. I, I, sorry, that was really I, I, creepy. <laughs> that was really creepy. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't actually do any of um, any of her missions personally. Um, I just know them. Personally speaking. But uh, up next is Deacon, who is not bangable. Deacon is with me right now, and uh, eh, I don't know, man. I, I'm looking at him right now. I'm not. I'm not. Stop walking, Deacon. God damn it. I'm not about it. Deacon's kind of cool in being like the spy character, but like, yeah, he's not particularly interesting. It's cool. Um, how, like, when you fast travel, he changes his clothes, which is nice. But then again, I think about it. It's like, where is he getting all these fucking clothes from, man? I, I, I don't know. Man, think about the clothes you've got. That's the thing, though. No, it's definitely not. And like, I want this relationship to, like, I want no secrets whatsoever, man. He's gotta be up front with me. Where is he getting all these nice ass clothes? Um. Oh my god, fuck this game. Alright, so. <laughs> but fuck Deacon? Uh. De yeah. <laughs> nah, uh. Nah, so De De Deacon's a cool character to sum up the railroad because he fits their whole thing pretty well, but yeah, past that. Past, yeah, not past much that. going on. He also has a play style that I feel like the game doesn't encourage at all, which is he gives you stealth shit. 
Um, That's true. Yeah. And like, I mean, it, I get this hops to one of the biggest problems with Fallout 4 in general. Like, this isn't a, like let's talk about what's bad with Fallout 4. Yeah, let's do but, it. But um, let's bring it up. It, well, it, 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 Fallout 4 is a game that incentivizes exclusively shooting things um, and doesn't really give you any other ways to handle situations ever. Um, so it's weird having a companion who is built so much about not doing that. Um, because the game literally isn't built to not do that. Like, as some guy tried to do a no-death run and he broke the game. <laughs> Or, sorry, not a no death, like a no killing run. It broke. And like game. the game, it broke. Like the narrative was uncompletable, because like it, the, the bugs oh, that yeah. came from what he had to do to pull that off. Because there's bits where you don't have an option, like you have to kill things. Right. Um. <clears throat> so he tried to pull situations where like companions would do all the damage and that kind of thing, and like yeah. it actually like the whole game just ceased to function. Um, Damn. But anyway, like so his his actual benefit like. Uh, specifically, is that he gives you uh, forty percent stealth boy duration and twenty percent sneak attack damage. Um, yeah. The amount of times I used a stealth boy is zero. Right. Yeah. Uh, the I amount of times rarely. I performed sneak attacks is probably also zero. Yeah. But so that, that's what he gives you in terms of like perks give, and shit. He doesn't bring much to the table, honestly. Now he's, he's more, also again. More ways than one. Yeah. You know? Most importantly, not bangable. Most importantly, pass that shit. Uh, he is a railroad boy through and through, although I did partner with the railroad. <laughs> railroad um, boy. <laughs> up next, we have the character I literally never looked at, so I can't say anything to this character, is McCready. Oh, no, no. Because in Fallout 3, he's in fucking Little Lamplight, whatever that place is called. That's too, that's too surreal for me. Like, you, because you, you see him as a kid in Fallout 3, and now he's fully grown, and he's cool and all, but, like, that'd be weird, you know? <clears throat> I feel, warm, like, really wrong about myself if I did that, or even thought about, oh, God, I just thought, of, I can't do it. I just can't do it. <laughs> so, no, having, no for that. Having no previous connection to him, I just didn't care. He has a personal quest you could do eventually, I didn't do, I don't even know what it is. Um, so his his bonus case. is he increases Vat's headshot accuracy by twenty percent. That could that's be helpful. That's not bad, actually. Honestly, like, that's a pretty good um, perk. But I just can't. Yeah, I can't I, bang the kid from Little Lamplight. That's that, that's just that's too much, man. All right, so McCready gets a hard pass. That's the first hard pass we found all yeah, night. He gets a real hard pass. Real hard. Um. Pass. So that brings us to <laughs> strong. Oh yeah. Who it Give is worth shit. noting fantasies aside <laughs> is not actually bangable. But um totally so, <laughs> <laughs> so strong is a super mutant that you find at the top of Trinity Tower and you could let him free out of a cage he's trapped in and if you do he'll be your companion. Um his bonus is 20% melee weapon damage when below 25% health. So specifically for a melee character, like that's about the only time you use and, that. And low health too. So you have to be doing real shit. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're a melee character, you'd probably <laughs> be down there more. I'd smash the hell out of Strong. He'd probably kill me. Like, he would destroy me. You know, like a Luke Cage uh, kind of thing. But, <laughs> but uh, probably you're a tiny man, Greg. I could. Uh... I, I, dude, yeah, he would breakfast <laughs> literally eat me for breakfast um but yeah no this I, game is bullshit crash this is has, so has dumb aged, like the first one has not aged very well but like two, so like i'm on like the awesome. last stupid bridge level and i actually don't know what i'm supposed to be doing Which oh come on the stupid bridge levels <laughs> there are a lot of stupid bridge levels in that game I'm on the I'm on the last stupid bridge level, and it's like the uh, other ones, but dumber. Worse than the hog. It's like, one? <laughs> that one's yeah, the hog bullshit. one. Do, like, are you talking about the one with the hog, like on the bridge? Yes. Because the hog's on every bridge. Ah shit. Well, I guess. I yeah, it's know. not like a one-off. It's the one that's in the sky. It's the one that's in the sky. Yeah, that's every bridge. Like, what? there's a couple of these, and they get progressively I more they're... stupid. Seriously. I'm t the only reason I know is because I'm playing one of them right now and I'm angry about it. I don't it. remember that. Luckily, you can actually cheat through these if you're very precise. You can jump on the ropes and walk up those. 
like on the sides of the bridge. Um, but if you fuck that up, you die. So <laughs> hopefully you don't fuck it up, I guess. Um, right. All right. Anyway, so strong, not bangable. Probably wouldn't anyway. Not my thing. Oh, whoa, whoa. You don't want those big uh, mutated arms all around your body and... I can't, I can't sell this. I can't, I can't sell this. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I have to, can I look at a, wait, let me look at a picture of Strong real quick, just so I can, uh... <laughs> he looks like every check. other super mutant. No, 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 no. <laughs> He looks he's like every other one of them. Oh, yeah, no, he's, uh, he looks like every other super... Alright, I'm looking at his, <laughs> I'm looking at him right now. He's very, uh, he's very green. Maybe, uh, slimy, maybe he might be slimy, you know? Uh, what the fuck, Crash? Okay. It's also, he's got um, pretty red eyes, so I don't know if I could look into those. Oh, Hancock came up too. Hell yeah. I don't know if I can look I into those in. eyes. <laughs> those, his eyes are so red. Like, he just smoked a bunch of weed and just is not having a good time or something. Gre Greg's pretty straight-edged. Um, <laughs> he smoked the devil's lettuce. Dude. Uh, so that, that's a no-go from Cabana Greg after that. Got a zero policy on yeah, the devil's lettuce. Yeah, kids, don't do that stuff. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do drugs. Don't do or it. Or fuck super mutants. Yeah, Strong, honestly, he's no fox, so I'm going to say I'm going to not bang that. I'm sorry. All right, up, sorry, Strong. Up don't next, don't we couldn't bang it anyway, so you're doing, as, uh, you're doing as Todd Howard willed it. And as Todd <laughs> says, so it shall be. I have no will. Uh, <laughs> um, up next. Oh god, that's so dumb. No, why? No, why? <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. Oh god damn it. Uh, up next is X X688, who is also not bangable. Is that a character in uh, Logan? Yes. Okay. Just double check. Yep, it's just the it's just little it girl here, from Logan Eric, who Eric, made the that. Big comic book guy said. That bizarre comic <laughs> appear that, that that bizarre appearance in Fallout 4, uh, for the Institute. Weirdly, um, she actually got created through the same methods, but by the Institute instead of um, Alkali. Um, anyway. What is it again? X. Um, X with it's like numbers and not letters. What what is it? The X Men character or like the actual character that we're talking about? Oh, in Fallout. Uh, X688. Alright, let's do this. So it's like let's X6 dash it. 88. Yeah, yeah, let's talk um, about this character. He's just a really uninteresting synth, I don't know. Oh yeah, not my type. Not my like, type. Like, he, he wears like the black coat. Yeah. He gives you 20, 20 energy resistance. So like, similar in uselessness to Cogsworth, except this one happens at the end of the game instead of the beginning. Um, or He's like the back that. half of it at least. That's what's important, is that he tries to give you something worthwhile, awesome. and guess what? I guess I guess he does try. <laughs> he doesn't try hard enough, though. So. Oh, there's another game over. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would there. say no no to X688. Yeah, skip that shit, pass that shit. So, um, yeah, I think that brings us to just our DLC companions, of which there are three. Um, so, Trace. let us see. Let us find out. Because I don't remember some of their names. Alright. So, you have one companion from Automatron, who you definitely cannot romance. And that okay. is Ada. Ada? Who is cool a robot. Name. Cool name, even better. Um, I love the robot. She basically just is a robot. She was, uh... Her caravan gets attacked in the beginning of the, the the DLC. You save it. She's okay, and then she helps you find the um, I forgot what the villain's name was. Um, it's not yeah, automata, automatron. It's not, it's not the tinkerer. That's a Spider-Man villain. Um, it's the mechanist. Oh, uh, that makes sense. She helps you find the mechanist. Um, yeah, I I don't really have much to say. She's just a robot. Man. Uh, her perk, did she even give you a perk? What is her perk? Doesn't seem like... She literally yeah. doesn't have a perk. Yeah, it doesn't seem like So, it. she just straight She's up doesn't have one. useless. You can how replace you, how her... How are you alive? How are you surviving? So you, 
you can replace her with your own built robots, and that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, so no perk on that, just the satisfaction of walking around with a different robot. You can customize her, I guess that's the thing. But like, you can also, when you unlock the ability to customize a her, it also lets you customize Codsworth and Curie if she's still a robot. So that's not even an exclu exclusive thing to her. Right. So um, forget it. Forget that. So up after that is old Longfellow, who's the one from Far Harbor that I mentioned before oh, of not being yeah. a big fan of. Um, he is like the stereotypical sailor that's seen too much shit. Um, like, like Captain Jack, maybe. Sparrow. Yes. Oh, you talk. Who? I don't know who you're talking about, Captain Jack. Is it actually that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so probably not much like that. Not um, much. <laughs> Oh my god, this is dumb. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he does, I think, give you a perk. He does give you a perk. He actually has one. Uh, his perk is... Thanks to your relationship with Old Longfellow, the damage resistance and energy resistance of animals and sea creatures is reduced by 25%. That's pretty that's good. That's not bad, actually. So he makes up for it. Um, do you need to reach maximum affinity to get these perks with anyone? Yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah, you do. You, so you gotta put time I was thinking this you just. Yeah, I was thinking you just got those from no. just picking them. No, Eric, you don't just um, get things when you're in a relationship. You that actually them. makes some of these way more useless than I thought. <laughs> um, so, like, good job, game. Good job, Todd Howard. Um, so, Longfellow... Let's see, I might have missed some shit with Longfellow. So he's a hunter in Far Harbor. Uh, he guides people through the radioactive fog. He hates the children of Adam. He doesn't want children. How am I supposed what, to no, work the with children that? of Adam. Or the... Same thing. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is kind of cool. Um, so she had... I actually didn't know this. This must have been in, like, just being with him that I wasn't. Um, so apparently years prior when he was a young man, he was in a romantic relationship with this girl named Hannah. Um, Hannah was pregnant. They got, the, right the two of them got abducted by the children of Adam. Um, he escaped. Uh, Hannah didn't. Once he recovered from his injuries, he went to find Hannah and found that they had twisted her mind and turned her to their radioactive ways and the child was stillborn. Um, so, Longfellow became super bitter because of the death of his child and Hannah going crazy. Uh, so that, that's kind of neat. Um, I didn't, I, I didn't play him so I didn't know that, but, uh, you can't, you can't bang him anyway, presumably because Hannah's got that shit on lock, or did, you know, up until the whole dying thing. Um, yeah, why'd you have to die like that? Yeah, God, Hannah, what the fuck, you insensitive bitch. I wouldn't do that um, to you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's Longfellow, and then last but not least is Porter Gage. Um, Porter Gage is a raider from Nuka World. Uh, Any good? Yeah, he. I literally never used him. Um, the best part about the here's the best part about Porter Gage. Ready? Go so ahead. Porter Gage has an eye patch, okay? Oh shit! What's behind? They didn't actually bother to change the model and remove an eye. <laughs> so if you look at him in the wrong direction, you see a fully functioning eye no way. behind the eye patch. No way. <laughs> Either that, or maybe he was supposed to have two eyes and the whole thing's a ruse. But I do not <laughs> think that's what the. <laughs> um. So that was. That was him. I don't know what his story is. He gives you a perk, though, which gives you 5% more. <laughs> it's so, not like, okay. the best, but it's still not as bad as it, it Here's why it's useless. Ready? Because yeah. most people who played Nuka World, and I know this isn't everybody, most people who played Nuka World probably played it, you know, like a year after the game first released, because that's when it came out. So getting plus 5% experience per kill that late into the game literally does nothing for you. Yeah. 
Like you're probably already like maxed out your character. Um, and like the 10, to, excuse me, 10 damage resistance gives you basically nothing. Um, you can romance him if you'd like. No, no, you don't. No, it's okay. <laughs> that's the end of uh, the end of Fallout Four wow. companions. Literally, there's like slim pickings. Yeah, we made it through. And none of the companions are really great. Just Hancock, you know. This level is impossible. <laughs> Eric, what is going on with you and Crash right now? Like, okay, is there any way to, like for me to hijack the stream? Like, how would that? I I really want. You I don't to. think there is. I don't think there is. I, I don't think there's a way to like to put uh, this uh, on here. Wait, there is. Wait, all right. If I stream, could you watch? As you'll soon see, we have a few My stream on awesome. your stream. Oh wait, yeah, like player sh play share? Like streamception, yeah. I don't know because I think I have to be in a game for it to right, be it's, uh, it's too much of a hassle. Um, I don't, I don't want to figure that out. Um, it, th this level, I'll give you the name as soon as I die again because I will. All right, it's uh the high road. So go on YouTube if you have access to a computer. And go look at this. I don't think you do. Go look at this. I do. Go look at this. No, that, that's the one I was talking about. The one in the This is like the third sky. one of these. Yeah, well, dude, okay. this is like the third sky the level one. with a hog. If everybody who's watching this, all seven of you, want to go <laughs> look up Crash Bandicoot the High Road and just look at the fucking nonsense that is this level. Because this is like actually unfair. Um... This is dumb. I don't know how to beat this. I don't think I have the patience to beat this. It's like four levels from the end of the game, too, is the killer. Like, I'm almost done with this fucking game. <laughs> Fuck this game. Nostalgia's shitty. I didn't play Crash as a child. I don't have nostalgia for the series. I didn't... <laughs> I played it a little bit at, like, my cousin's house. I didn't actually... Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Eric, please do a stream where you just get pissed off at this level. Please. No. Oh, come on. Oh, God. It's just frustrating, man. It's, it it's really is. It's for me and I'm sure everybody else. Oh, God. If I could stream onto your channel, I would, but I can't. And I don't have it set up to stream on my own, I don't think. I'll just come over. Uh, and and then, people, then people would need to, like, switch things. It'd be a whole thing. Oh, come on. It'd be a whole thing. Um... God, okay. So basically, fuck this game. I'm done with this for now. This is stupid. Um, I actually don't know how this is beatable, and I don't have the patience for it. Um, what vault are you trying to get into? Did you never do that? Or did you start a new game here or something? I started a new game. Okay. Because this is like when you need the three, uh, three fusion cores, right? Right, yeah, I already gave them to her. God, yeah, I just saw that happen. Um... That was next. I knew that was early on. Alright, so we're gonna save and not deal with this shit today. Um, because it's stupid. It's real dumb. And I don't want to start Crash 2 until I finish Crash 1 on yeah, you principle. Need to. Yeah, that's how it works. I that's think why I have. I beat the uh, Kingdom Hearts games because I just <laughs> didn't do the first one again. So I've got one, two, three, four. I did four of like nine levels. I think there's five more. I'm almost there. Um. <laughs> But I don't know. I mainly just don't want to finish going to two before one, because I know two is better, and I'll never come back for it. <laughs> right. So I guess we're just gonna not, and that's gonna be how that goes. Um, that said, I don't think I have anything else to say about Fallout 4 companions. I, me neither. I mean, honestly, Hancock. Even though we went through all of those guys, Hancock still, end of the day, is my man. You know. I could see us getting, you know, settling down in Good Neighbor, wherever he wants to go, and just plowing whatever he wants, whatever fields he wants to plow, you know? And that's it. That's Sky, I'll stick with, uh, I'll stick with Piper and Diamond City, and it'll be great. Yeah, I feel like We'll have a wonderful life. Have a better locate. Well, not, that's not true. I mean, here's yeah. the thing. Yes, it is. Here's the thing. No, 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 here's the thing. It's a great place, right? Diamond City's cool and all. But don't you ever want to, like, get out of Diamond City? Like, would, she's probably going to make you stay there. Yeah, see, I did. I spent 100 hours going everywhere else in the Commonwealth. 
And you don't like it anywhere else. You don't like it anywhere else. Uh, so Diamond City is like the only like livable city in the entirety of the Commonwealth. That's what makes it boring, Eric. You're gonna live a boring life with boring. I don't know. Maybe life. after my after my long life of adventuring, I want to just settle down. I, you know what? That's reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be, I want to be in the wasteland, you know. I want to be in the irradiated water <laughs> with Hancock, getting down and dirty. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. We're gonna have to agree to disagree on this one, I, I think. Uh, it's no the only, uh, only solution. <laughs> yep. I, I understand. No, I mean sometimes you're just wrong, and then sometimes you're me. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> I, you had to slip one of those in there eventually. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. There's a lot. There's a lot. We can just talk about life now. <laughs> no, we're not going to I mean, about life now. What games are coming out soon? Pyre comes out in a week and a half. Heck yeah. I'm amped. I'm going to go that right now, actually. Uh, what is it? Log into the PlayStation Store. Oh, Probably it's everything. Oh, okay. It's a super giant game. Well, okay. uh, I just don't know if you can pre-order on PSN. I've never done it. Before. You can. And, uh, new. Yeah, you just have to like look really hard, but it's there. I'm searching for it. Maybe I'll let you play Transistor tonight. Transistor's pretty Ooh, good. Great soundtrack. Great soundtrack. Here it is. Here's Pyre. Here is there a pre-order button? Is there can a pre-order button? Smash Pyre. I can pre-order it, and it's on sale. It's Is on it? sale if you pre-order 10% oh. off. Shit. So it looks like I am pre-ordering Pyre. Guys, uh, as we this speak. Is breaking news. Eric is pre-ordering Pyre. <laughs> Dude, that game's nice. gonna be dope. No, it's gonna be good. It's I'm gonna be excited. super good. Um, I just replayed, replayed Bastion like a couple months ago. I'd probably play it again. But I might play Transistor soon now. I don't know. My options for games to play at this point is like... So, Crash, but like I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> um, Skyrim, no. which I want to deal with but just don't have the time for right now. Well, I could theoretically tonight. And then um, Diablo 3, I'm still powering through with the Necromancer. Oh, the Necromancer. Necromancer's sick. You got that, didn't you? No, I didn't, dude. I um, what did like I not buy? the Necromancer, but Diablo. Didn't you end up? Didn't you buy I, Diablo? I but bought you did. Overwatch. I went on Blizzard's website and I was like, I'm gonna buy Overwatch. And That's weak. Yeah. <laughs> hey, shut up, dude. You already own frames. Overwatch. Dude, 120 frames. Yo, can we talk about something really stupid right now with fucking Overwatch? I just want to talk about this. Sure. Quick. You yeah, cannot. Absolutely. I thought. You could link your accounts between PC and PS4, which you can do. It's a thing. It's in the system. It's in the bl the, bl the battle net bullshit. But you cannot have all of your shit from consoles carry over to PC once you link your accounts. It's bullshit. Well, yeah, that'd be dumb. Why is it dumb? I spent so like too much money on skins, and it doesn't even carry well, over. Well, it's the same reason you can't carry over progression and stats from Diablo 3 between console and PC. They're different games. No, no, no. I don't want stats. Like, I want my skins. I don't give a shit about my, yeah, like, like, badass stats. I, it make well, one, like, they make more money now if you decide you want them that badly. Oh and God, two, yeah. well, it does make it's sense so because you get all that shit from, like, leveling up and, like, I don't know, the games play differently. Um, oh, being do. on they, they different, see. different consoles, so they probably don't want to intermix because then, like, if people wanted, you know, all their skins and shit, and like they had both, they would just play the console one to unlock all the shit because console is easier, and then just go into the PS, the PC one, and have everything already. So I could see that being an issue. I didn't want to mix the piece, the, the PCs with the pleasant, the pep. Oh, God damn it, I can't talk today. Peasants? <laughs> yeah, that. The, I was gonna say plebeians, but then peasants sounded easier at the time, and now we're talking about it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have no intention to um Overwatch. to buy Overwatch on, again. I, I'm good with the one. I don't even play it on PS4 currently. Yeah, I know. Um, although props to Blizzard for making the Authenticator way better. They really, they really went all yeah. out on that one. This Which stupid Authenticator used to be like you used to have to go into your phone and it would give you a code that would change every 30 seconds. You needed to type the whole oh. thing in. Now all it is, you still need the Which app. 
But when you try to log in, it just sends a notification to your phone, and you just need to hit approve. Right. So, like, it's way simpler. You don't actually need to deal with typing numbers quickly. It's just, oh, this is you, approve. Good, you, you can go. Um, I'm a big fan. They, they made it way better. I'm still uh, ranked 2361 in Overwatch. My friend just hit right, a I've got, I've got a... on consoles. He's like, I'm really? a better... Yeah, he's like, I'm a better first-person shooter gamer, like, on consoles than I am PC. Because PC, he was like, Diamond, I want to say. But, man, he Grandmaster. He's like, 43, 44. He's really fucking good on the consoles. And I was just like, ooh, I want to play competitive again. But I know I'm going to get trashed, you know? Well, my, see, just solely by my placement matches, my win percentage is 12%. <laughs> um, no. What are you doing right now? Um talking to you and these lovely people do you want do you want to go play some competitive overwatch oh my i haven't played overwatch on a console in like a long time even Same. shooting even shooting with the controller right now feels so wrong like it's just like ugh, what's going on so <laughs> I, I have to train my brain to, to do it all over again if we win a couple in a one a couple in a row i probably get to platinum oh shit Oh man, I'd be down to play some Overwatch on console. I'd be down. I'm actually the, 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 I've thought about that for a couple of seconds since I've said it, no. and I don't actually know if I want to do it. That's fine. As, <laughs> as, I, I, as I said it, that seemed like a good idea, and I was like, hmm, <laughs> maybe not. Yeah, we don't have to. Uh, if, if you had Diablo, yeah. I'd say let's play some Diablo, but you Is didn't it get sale? it. I don't know. I already right, own I'll, it. I'll look. I'll look. Question: Would you um, if, would you buy Player Unknown's Battlegrounds or no? Nah, for thirty bucks, no. Yeah. <laughs> the hit detection. Um, bullshit in that game. <laughs> I would really buy it if it was like ten. I just don't want to spend thirty. Yeah, on I, anything I don't at get all. it. It's, I don't get how it's that much money, and it's like, what is it? Early access. Hit detection is garbage. Yeah, I don't get it. Ben was trying to convince me yesterday to spend ten dollars on a Diablo clone, and I was like, "Why don't we just play Diablo? We already own it." And he was like, "Yeah, but oh. this clone's really good." And it's like, "But we already own it. Like <laughs> no we, <reason. laughs> like no we already have the game that it's ripping off." <laughs> oh shit, my uh, But I don't know. The Necromancer's dope. Diablo three is super cool. I don't know why nobody likes it. I get why nobody I... liked it before, but like they made <laughs> yeah. it way way better. Like it's really good now. Um, apparently, the witch doctor has a piranhas ability. I didn't know that, and that's fantastic. Piranhas. It just summons piranhas. I wish I could um, summon piranhas. The necromancer is everything I never knew I wanted, though. Like, Sounds so you like have an like an con, army. Right? <laughs> you can get an army of skeletons, and they just teleport to things and attack them. Mm -hmm. um, you can blow up corpses. You literally have an ability called Corpse Lance that turns really? the bones of corpses into lances and throws them at things. Nice. Uh, and it's just like, I never really knew I wanted any of these things, but now that I have them, I can't imagine not. You can't go back. I, can't basically. Go back. So, what Blizzard games do I have? Apparently, I have... World of Warcraft is free. I know, it says click here to add a free World of Warcraft Starter Edition account. <laughs> Maybe it's just making an account. Um, so I, I guess I, I might have that. I have Diablo 3, I have Overwatch on PS4, and I have StarCraft 2, and then technically I have Heroes of the Storm and Hearthstone, but they're free. Right. I would try Why Heroes is, of the Storm. Oh, right. I forgot that Destiny 2 is run through battle.net. Yes. So, like, that Man. shows up here now Dude, for I got no that, reason. I got that free with my graphics card, actually. That's pretty dope, because it's probably not yeah. worth 60 bucks, so... <laughs> no, it looks great. I'm, I'm really excited. That makes one of us in the stream. I know. <laughs> no one likes no, I hope it's good. Anymore. I hope it lives up to your expectations. Me too, because I paid... Um, I, I, the only reason I bought that graphics card, I was like, Hey, Destiny 2 is a game I want to get. Let me get it. What graphics card did you get? I got a 1080. Okay, but you weren't gonna buy that if it didn't come with Destiny? Well, here's the thing. The original... You were gonna get a shittier no, 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 graphics no, no. card? Here's the thing. Originally, I was gonna get an Asus 1070 for, like... I forgot how much it was, but... 
I saw the 1080 on like Nvidia. They were having a deal, and the the Founders Edition graphics card was like a lot cheaper than I thought, to the point where it was only like a fifty dollar difference between the card I was gonna get and the Founders Edition. And I was like, well, if it comes to the game, it pretty much is worth it. Especially if I'm gonna send this, if I'm gonna spend the sixty dollars down the road anyway, might as well just do it now. Um, when I'm getting PC parts, so I just bought it together. All right, that makes people, sense. And a lot of people were like, "Oh, how could you afford the graphics card?" I'm like, "What do you mean?" And I saw the original price for that graphics card; it's insane. But I did not pay anywhere near that. Like, I guess Nvidia just since other cards started coming out, you know, other 1080s. That like, how much Nvidia, did you spend on it? I would think it was uh, five five twenty for the graphics card. Okay, so I did spend like the six fifty on it. That's, yeah, that's the thing. Like. I saw 657, the price. whatever the price was. Yeah, like I it, spent, I paid the normal value on it. That was half my computer. No, that's the thing. Like I, I was like pricing it out. Like, Holy shit! This is more than the monitor. This is more than everything. I mean, yeah, but like that makes sense. So like, I, mean, I don't it know. It is the thing that run, runs it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Guys, I, I, I paid full price for it, but we have the same one. Nice. But uh, it's a, it's a great card. Like I can run ultra everything. It's like fucking awesome. Yeah, no, it's solid. I have no complaints. None at all. So, alright, we have to find... Oh, shit. I died. <laughs> we, Eric, we have to find a, uh, a PC game that we can play. Let's play Gwent. Go download it. Alright, let me go... Is it just on, like... What's... Whose website? CD Projekt Red? Or... Uh, GOG.com. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna kick your ass. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm prepared for, for that. It's okay. You know what? It's fine. Cause you've never played it at all, right? No. Alright, this is gonna be sick. Oh, I hate you. This Wait, is... <laughs> I totally, we should totally I'll, stream that. We should totally I'll use a starter a deck. Uh, I'm down. But I'll, can... I'll, I'll go, let me go yeah. remake a starter deck. So that okay. I can use that. Would you, <laughs> would you be down, would you be down to stream when? Yeah, I'm down. Let's okay. do it. Sweet. Alright, so then... I'll download it, and we'll plan for a Gwent stream, because I feel like it'll piss me off, and, but the thing is, you know how to play it, and you yeah. know, you're pretty good at it, so like, at least you can teach me, and like, you know, teach other people what it is, like, what the game is, and then you can actually play it. Yeah, let's do it. Wait, let's do it right now. Fuck it. <laughs> what? Right now? Let's go right now. <laughs> Alright, fine. Squint time. Alright, let me at least download it. <laughs> let me let me at least download it. Hold <laughs> on, oh, I can I can kick on my computer right now and, and maybe scroll over. You guys came in for Fallout and now you're getting, <laughs> you're getting something that spun off of the better RPG. Oh shit. Um, That's some real talk, man. I mean it is a better the RPG. The card game in Witcher 3 is better than most of Fallout 4 was. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no Piper though, that's the only thing. That's fine, I have Siri. <laughs> oh, yo. Uh, where are these? Oh, shit. Original decks. Oh, uh, here's the original Monsters deck. Oh, this deck is horrible. Oh, oh, oh hell yeah. Death Claw. So a Deathclaw just attacked me when I was AFK. God damn it. I'm fucked. Hold on. I'm gonna go build these starter decks. It's gonna be great. I, one of my decks is literally named Cancer. <laughs> oh, Cancer deck. <laughs> I'm cheesy. Okay. Fuck out of this death block. I just killed him. <laughs> Meriden, gotta do. Alright, I kinda hope you beat me. Alright. Well, what do I do? Do I just. Do I pause this and then just open up the fucking. The other thing? Why don't you down? You're not doing that one in your computer. Why don't you download it while we're here, and this way we can just move Man. over once you're. All right. Well, I have to pause this game though, because my computer is set up to the same monitor as my PS4. Oh, gotcha. I thought you had two different monitors. Nope. I am. Uh, I did not get two. <laughs> I did not get two monitors. That's weak. You gotta. You know. gotta get on that. Stop. I... Wow. <laughs> so this deck there got go. nerfed by mistake, then, didn't it? That's a bummer. I want to see your huh. reaction when I nerf. Did you see the Doomfist one? You see that? What the um? Oh yeah, I did. It was it was funny. I didn't think it was one of the better ones, but it was funny. Strike. Yeah, no, it was it was definitely not the best one, but it's like it's fun. 
I need wild hunt riders. This deck is horrible. All right. No, I also. Suck I'm not gonna make. Day. Did you? How's Ed doing? All right, Navi. Peace, man. I might, I might do another stream today. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, uh, Ed's good. He is not. He's looking for work right now. Um, but gotcha. he's good. He is good as can be. Solid. Uh, we were talking um, about the stream. We were talking about Overwatch. We were talking about a lot of shit today. Gotcha. Yeah, he's my man. So I want you to know I'm literally using, like, this is so bad. I'm going to use the same decks that you are. All right, hold on. So tell me where to go so I can download this shit. I'm glad, Rag, this is a thing we're doing. Um, go to GOG.com. GOG.com. How are these even decks? I don't understand. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, it's saying my Ethernet cable's not connected. What? What? It, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh oh. What is my internet gonna crash? Oh, I hope it doesn't crash. Now it's plugged in. All right, Eric. It might not be in the cards for us, literally, <laughs> to play this today. <laughs> now we have to play it. It's important. All right, Eric. Hold on. What? I gotta check my network settings. Show up, Villabu. Yo, o OBS. I think you were telling me about OBS. That thing's a shit. Yeah. I gotta say, I've used. Yeah, it's pretty time. solid. It's shit. Yeah, I like it a lot. I've been teaching um kids how to use it. Teaching them scrub kids. You know what its biggest scrub problem it. is? What's up? When you record video, the default format is FLV. I know. I noticed that last night. I was exporting footage. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, you literally can't even can't even use it in Premiere initially, you need to convert it. I know, that's what I did last night, I converted it to an MP4, and, and the blacks get so fucking muddled, it's it's disgusting. Yeah, it's terrible. So wait, okay, um, I'm on GOG, right? <clears throat> yeah, then there's the search for, what, yeah, it's CD Projekt Red's oh, is it seriously? store. Oh. Yeah. Hey, okay. Um, <laughs> why would I have told you to come on this if it was like, I not a... No. I, uh, dude, I get some nerve. I have to sign up though. All right, just search search for Gwent's and yeah, you I need did. to make an account. I did. I gotta make a goddamn account. And the game is free. So what? Uh, I'm making all the all them decks. And by all them decks, I'm gonna look at all of them and make the two or three that I actually want to use. You should just tell Michael. That is to... not the starter deck at all. That is. A budget deck. There is a big difference between tell the two. Mike. All right. I gotta tell Mike. <laughs> Mike's not around. I just asked no. everyone to play before. Hey, I'm gonna download this shit. Fuck it's yeah. It's so small. It's like 150 megs. I mean, it's a fucking card game. It's. A... <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> is this free to play? It's an open beta. Oh. It will be free to play Eric. also once it comes out. God, Eric. So like, Gwent, it's a, they have a cool business model because like, it will be free to play and yeah. they give you a shit ton of of packs of cards just for playing the game. So like, you could theoretically just play it forever without ever spending money. Um, although like, if you play it and you get into it, like drop 30 bucks and just buy a bunch of cards, it'll give you a nice little boost when you get started. Um, but it, it's just a matter of like, you can eventually get every card in the game for free. You don't need to to spend money at all, uh, just because they are so generous with the shit that they give out. Um, oh boy, these are so bad. How? <laughs> they probably haven't updated these either from patches. I have most of the cards in this game at this point, though. Um, which is why I'm not using actual decks. I'm doing finally... So, like, <laughs> something you could do, which I do recommend, yeah. uh, if you decide to actually play this game, is Man. you can do what's called net decking, which means they're... Like, I mean, like, after oh. right now. <laughs> um, 
you could so there's websites that are just dedicated to like people's decks like they post their deck list and everything um so like you can use other players decks and then obviously you still need to f know, know how to play them yeah. but they give you like a good basis to work on um it's slightly less satisfying climbing up ranks with it because you didn't make it yourself but it's a really good way to learn how to play the game right. um it's like when in open or in closed beta i was using almost exclusively a, a deck that i found off the internet i made a handful of changes to it but it was basically somebody else's um <laughs> and then i got to learn how to play it really well and learn that archetype but in in the open beta which is what we've been in for a couple months now um i've exclusively used my own uh and i've been climbing quite a bit within that and it is super satisfying nice um, because I made a pretty good deck that nobody plays, like the archetype that it's in, so it catches right. people off guard. Um, we're going to replace that with that, because they changed this card. Nope, we don't want that in here at all. Oh. What am I missing? Nothing. I'm going to silvers now. Uh, I, need these. I deleted all the starter decks, so I need to make them again. Do I even have that card? I think I got rid of that one. Alright, so I'm going to make a slight change to one of these, because I don't have one of these cards anymore. Alright, so I'm going to switch now. back over to the uh, PS4 real quick, and uh, I'm going to wait for this download to stop. But I'm going to stop this stream. I'm going to do it. I'm going to kill it. But, uh, guys, I'll probably be streaming maybe in like another 20 minutes, so stay tuned for that. Alright. Bye, guys.